Methodism in Arkansas, you are the, the trendsetters for the whole United Methodist Church, and we will do anything in our power to make you succeed. You need to hear that, folks, because there's been a lot of talk about Methodists don't like this church, they don't want us to succeed. The leadership won't grace to be the church God calls it to be. They're with you. And then we talked about, you know, the financial struggles. We talked about attendance. We talked about everything we could talk about. And then one of them looked at me and he said, okay, Bill, if you were a district superintendent, what would you say to you? <laughs> and I have to say my flippant self came out first. I said, well, I'd say, first of all, thank God I'm not. You know, that I'm not a district superintendent. I don't want to be this one. But then I thought, and I said, well, I guess what I would tell me is to quit living in desperation and remember the call of God and remember why I was sent to this place and then get off your butt and go back to work. <laughs> tables back. They pulled a chair out into the middle of the room. And every one of those district superintendents and the bishop came over and laid hands on me. And they prayed. They prayed for me and for my health. They prayed for Brenda and her having to put up with me. They prayed for you. They prayed for our church. And folks, when I got up, I have never felt more affirmed and more supported and more loved in my life. It was awesome. We walked outside and the bishop said, we'll, we'll get back with you. We'll let you know, you know what, what we decide. You know, folks, it doesn't matter. Because what matters is I remember now the truth. I remember that God loves me so much that He sent His Son to die for me. And my value in the world rests in that. And I remember that Jesus, the risen Lord, promised that He would never leave me alone, that He would be with me always. And folks, that's enough. That defeats hell. That defeats de desperation. It's enough. I don't know what they're going to decide yet, but I do know that what they decide will be God's will for this church and for me. And folks, God's will is good enough. God's will will make things happen. God's will will carry us through. People have said, what do we do? What you do, folks, is you pray. And you believe that God holds me and holds you and holds Grace Community Church in His hands. And that God will do what is right and good and best for us. And you trust it. And you believe it. We've put off the offering until this point in the service and, and we did it intentionally because I wanted you to hear very clearly a couple of things one is that yeah things are tough financially you know they really are we, we worry about making the building payment and making salary payments and, and just keeping things you know going it's tough but folks that's not insurmountable you know I can tell you what a, a preacher friend of mine once said to a congregation he, he came in and he said I've got good news and I've got bad news he said, the good news is that we have all the resources that we ever need to do anything we have dreamed about doing. The resources are there. He said, the bad news is they're still in your pockets. Still in your pockets. <laughs> That's where we are. 
But folks, when we take the offering in a minute, I want you to hear this and hear it clearly. You do not put money in that offering plate because you support me. You do not put money in that offering plate because you support the music ministry or the drama ministry or anything else. You put money in that offering plate because God loves you enough to die on the cross for you. Because God loves you enough to promise God will never leave you alone. And you put money in the offering plate to say thanks. To say, God, thank you for giving me a way out of desperation. A way to a future that is calm and peaceful and good. And that's why we worship through giving our offering. And so let us, in this time, worship God and say thanks to God for giving us the keys that will take us out of hell and out of desperation and into peace and joy. <laughs>